Dr. Jaffe, what are your thoughts on bladder rack and are there any benefits to using it? Well, bladder rack is a brown sea vegetable, a brown seaweed. And like all seaweed, it's rich in iodine and a bioavailable form of iodine. Now, in a fairly large study, people in Japan who consumed one portion a day of seaweed or sea vegetables had dramatically lower heart disease status. Their hearts beat well longer and their brains stayed active longer. So I'm a big fan of including seaweed and sea vegetables in your weekly diet calendar. I think one day a week around here, we have lots of fresh mushrooms in season and sea vegetables in a stew. You can saute them. You can even air fry them if you want. Um, so we do know that it's an interesting seaweed. It's been well studied. It contains a form of iodine that is a precursor to the thyroid hormone. So that's a bioactive, bioavailable form of iodine. But in regard to iodine and iodide, we need both in our diet. The way I get mine is through supplements. Supplements to promote my bone health or supplements to promote my hair, skin, and nails health. And specifically this form of seaweed, if you took too much of it, it would feed back to the pituitary gland that you have enough hormone when you don't. But it's a bioavailable, bioactive form of diiodotyrosine. Tyrosine is the amino acid from which the thyroid hormones are made. There's T4, which is made in the thyroid gland, and then you go to the periphery, to the receptor on the individual cell, and that's where one iodine is taken off to form T3, and that's the active triiodotyronine. But very often those receptors are distorted for one reason or another, like low magnesium or metabolic acidosis, and you make reverse T3, which competes with the beneficial T3. So this issue of iodine and thyroid hormone gets very interesting very quickly. Um, I hope you found this helpful uh, because it is one of the sea vegetables that I would recommend, along with many, many others, as organic as possible, biodynamic if you can because the seaweed grows in the ocean. If it grows in uncontaminated, clean ocean water, it's uncontaminated. It turns out very often for commercial export reasons, a product that would not be approved in country, like in Japan, is available for export. And it might, and often is, contaminated with chemicals, toxic metals, and other things that should not be there. So you have heard me say this before, and I'll probably say it again. It's worth getting higher quality, fresher, organic or biodynamic herbs and um, con uh, other additions to your diet, like seaweed. So that's, uh, that's what I have to say about that.